Hey everybody, you can tell we're getting very serious today, very corporate. I'm gonna show you a plugin that I've been liking for a long time, but I included again in my Neovim config this round that deals with SQL. That's why, of course, we're, we've gone corporate today. Um, and so I just wanted to show you really quickly how it works. Uh, I think sort of the three plugins that you really need to make this situation like excellent in my mind is Vim Dadbod, and then you have Vim Dadbod completion and Vim Dadbod UI. Now there's gonna be one slight bit of configuration that we need to do, but I'm going to first show you what the plugin does and then we'll sort of circle back, if you will. We're going to check out a multifaceted approach to the circle back, take that offline, double click it, and then we'll get back to our original business on the meeting agenda. This could have been an email. Okay, so enough of that. The, the way that you use this plugin is you can just type dbui. This opens up a really nice little uh, window situation here. Usually what I do is I open this in a new tab because I like having it sort of separately. And so I'll do dbui here and then I have sort of my normal coding spots that I'm doing here. And then you can connect to a database. It supports a bunch of them. I've used it with Postgres and SQLite super like effectively and there's probably a bunch of other ones that work well um, too. And what you can do is you can make a new query. And if I do select star from um, let's do, um, I don't know, we'll say theme songs. This is something that people have right now on Twitch on my thing, where if they're a subscriber, they play theme song. This is all for the one mixery project that I showed last time, like where you do a random color scheme and you get a random color scheme, all this stuff. Oh, so instead of doing theme songs, we'll do, um, we'll do effect ledger like this. And so if we run this, we can actually see here, we get our nice little table showing up down here with all the results um, as you'd expect. And what's really cool is when you have this hooked up correctly with your uh, completion engine, I know for sure it works well with NVIM comp because that's what I'm using. You actually get a really nice auto completing experience inside of here. So if you did like ID, you'll see that we get cost here and it says, hey, that's from, from this one. And then we get effect ID and we could do Twitch user ID, right? And so I could do this and then we can just save the file and it immediately executes it again. I find this workflow just like super, super helpful. And another really awesome thing that this plugin has is it has the ability to sort of save queries for later. And so I have a bunch of queries that I've been using for a long time to do various things or reset the database after I've made a mistake. I, very rare. <laughs> Very rare, especially when I got the suit coat on, obviously. Um, but that sort of lets me keep a bunch of these queries really just on the tip of my fingers. Um, and it's sort of per database. So I have all these other different connections that I have that I can connect to, and it keeps them all separate, which is really nice and really nice to run all of these. So that's sort of the main thing that the plugin does. And I, I find it super useful. It's really great. People always are asking me what's going on. So this is why I'm making that video. The one piece of configuration that's a little little bit confusing is if you're using NVIM comp, what you need to do is you need to do something like this. After you've already set up the rest of NVIM comp, right? You set your normal sources and your mappings, things like this, right? Then what you need to do is you need to go and you need to say, hey, for SQL, okay, because we're in a SQL file, right? If we check here and we go echo and FT, it just says, it just says SQL right here. So you might want to set this to custom file type or something else like that if you don't want this to try and complete in other times. But in my experience, it's been it's been perfectly fine to just have it always on for SQL. What you can do then is you can set the sources that you want available for that file type. If you don't know what NVIM comp sources are, this is basically like NVIM comp doesn't actually provide the completions, okay? All NVIM comp does is say, hey, I can ask a bunch of things for stuff to complete, and then you pick which one and I handle all the stuff that needs to happen, right? That's sort of NVIM comp's job. It's like the engine and there's all these different sources that are coming in, right? So one of the sources is this Vim DadBod completion, right? So if we go back to DadBod, that's, that's this plugin right here. Okay, that's this plugin right here. So if you don't have that plugin, you're not going to get those autocompletes, which is one of the, I think, nicest parts about doing uh, Vim DadBod. <clears throat> And so then I also like to include buffer because I often write things like, you know, people's usernames, like here's me, right? And so if I want to do select star from Twitch users where login is, and then I just start typing this, it's nice that it completes something that's already in the file that I have. <clears throat> so I, I find that sort of situation really helpful to do is to not only have 
the Vim dad bod completion itself, which is going to give you tables and keys and all these other sorts of things, right? But also the buffer completion ends to be tends to be quite nice for SQL, right? So this lets me uh, select this and I didn't pick the right thing because this is actually ID should be this. And then there we go, right? So that's sort of what's going on with Vim dad bod. I think the combination of this UI experience and the completion from the completion engine is really nice. And, you know, it'll work if you do stuff like select Twitch users dot and it's only going to give you the right ones, right? So if you're joining on two tables and they have similar names, right, it's going to handle all of that, which I find really, really helpful. And of course, it's, it's all running inside NeoVim. So it's always a little bit fun to just show that, yeah, NeoVim can do nice things too. So I hope you liked the video. If you like this one, make sure you smash the like. Let me know. Leave a comment. If there's any feature in Vim Dadbot that I didn't cover, let me know. Maybe I'll make a longer video um, about it later. Some more like SQL workflow kind of things that I do. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you later.